Hi, I'm Tim Kasser. I'm a psychology professor. I've been working with Tom Crompton on environmental issues. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how people's values and goals are organized in their minds. And what we've done is we've done a variety of different studies across the nations in order to try to understand how values are structured in people's minds. Because as it turns out, some values and goals are consistent with each other. You can pursue them at the same time, whereas other values and goals are in conflict with each other. So I'm going to draw you something right here if you want to come on over. So what we've been able to find is that there's two main dimensions of, of goals. Um, and they're organized like this, and pardon my handwriting. So I'm writing these down here first and then I'm going to explain them to you. It'll just take me another second here. So here they are, spirituality, community, affiliation, self-acceptance, health, hedonism, financial success, image, fame, and conformity. Now here's the idea, is that these goals that are next to each other in the circle are psychologically consistent. So people who care about fame tend to care about image, and people who care about image tend to care about fame. It makes sense. Some goals are in opposition to each other because they're hard to pursue at the same time. So for example, it's hard to be spiritual at the same time as you're going to be hedonistic. Those values tend to be in conflict with each other, which again makes sense if you think about it. Now one of the things we know from this circumplex and we know from other research is that some of these values and goals promote positive environmental behaviors and others of them are associated with more environmentally de degrading attitudes and behaviors. So what we find is that this set of values, which we oftentimes call the extrinsic or the materialistic values, they tend to be associated with uh, caring less about the environment or only caring about the environment for yourself, with having um, more ecologically degrading lifestyles, with doing few good things for the environment. On the other hand, these values, community, affiliation, and self-acceptance, are what we call the intrinsic values. And those values tend to be associated in our scientific research with more positive environmental outcomes and with more um, ecologically healthy lifestyles. So one of the things that I think we need to really focus on is how can we create our own lifestyles and how we can we create a society which is less focused on these values and is more focused on these values.